Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich. Today, we are going to be playing as the Swiss Republic. At least the Swiss Republic for now. We don't really know what's going to, you know, happen in the future. So I've been looking through these trees and either we're going to go for aid from Germany or we're going to go for enemies at all sides. Because I saw down here the Greater Switzerland decision seems pretty interesting because i have no idea what that'll actually do usually exclusive with the black spot of europe the greater switzerland decisions you are just political power command economy what does command economy do i mean i don't see it in here change trade law to command economy Is it closed economy? I actually have no idea. But that's fine. So, uh, at some point, France is going to want to declare war on us. There is no doubt about that. Because um, they're going to want to try to take over this region right here, Upper Savoy. But of course, we're not going to allow that to happen. Um, so you guys can go here. You can go here. Is there two provinces? Yes, there are. Uh, I'll have, so we'll have one of you go here, and this is just two promises as well, so you two guys can go onto this front. But shrink here, because this is technically already covered by this front. So that should be good to go. Of course, we are going to add in a general, throw him underneath a field marshal. We actually have no field marshals to begin with. We don't have enough command power. Okay, fine. That's okay, then. The first national spirit is just going to be issues of the day, I believe. Actually, 20% core defense, division defense on core territory also sounds really good. Seeing as we are definitely going to be fighting in this region. You're just a colony state, though, unfortunately. But you are a core. So that is important to note. And also all these territories are cores as well. Because the international is probably not going to be too happy with us, to be completely honest with you. So, of course, we can go for our beginning techs. Now, just the basics for now. We are currently 8 civilian, 2 military, which is a really, really not, it's really not great. So, we're going to go with 1 military factory, so as far away from the front lines as we can possibly have it. Austria and Germany, I'm not too worried about them. We can get some steel from the Germans. We will... Get mostly just rifles, I think. Oh, yeah, we only have two factories. Right, so... Not great. We'll look at this in a second. What are you made out of? You have militias in you. That's actually dreadful. I guess we'll just train up, like, three of you? I mean, having militia is, like, really bad, but, you know, what can you do? close air support over our current region uh, again we're gonna have you just on normal operations set you guys to be 400 no tactical bombers can be put at 150 for our fighters we'll have them at 400 I don't know how many we have in reserves I like it like an okay amount now eventually get deployed decisions available of course we'll take our army and navy experience one of the following must be true. At most, zero divisions in Upper Savoy at war. Not controlled. Okay, so if, and it'll, it'll probably happen at some point. Most probably want to fortify once they get 20 political powers and immediately build some fact, uh, force in that province. And crack down on the Cynic list. 3% stability. Doesn't really do too much, though. I mean, the 3% stability is probably fine, but it doesn't really get rid of their popularity at all. So, the state of Switzerland. The Swiss Confederation saw a crisis in the 19th century. In several canton, liberal pro uh, powers prevailed, calling for even more democracy and more centralism. This met with opposition of the Catholic conservative, uh, conservatively dominated cantons, which formed the Sonderbund in 1845. The Sonderbund War erupted in 1847, which saw the liberals as victors. In 1848, the federal constitution was ratified during the loose league of cantons into a federal state, the new federal capital in Bern. 
The new constitution created an institution like the Burstrat, the Federal Council, the Federal Assembly, and the Federal Court. Switzerland re uh, remained neutral throughout the Weltkrieg, although there were uh, various domestic conflicts between German and French-speaking citizens. In addition, economic problems arose com uh, completely surrounded as countries uh, was by warring nations. The radical left gained a lot of support during the time, and in 1919, a strike in Geneva called for, uh, for by workers' movement attempted to push through major social changes. The attempt failed because of the fear, uh, fear spreading of French syndicalism and its subsequent repression of the Swiss government. Uh, but in its uh, wake, social reform were beginning, uh, bringing about higher wages and shorter work days. In 1919, the system of promotional representation was introduced. The conservative uh, freezing lost the majority, while the social democrats grew stronger. And then into the 1930s, domestic policies uh, have governed in response to conflict between social democrats and conservatives. The struggle between communities in Switzerland is now taking even more political values. The French speakings are more socialist, the Germans are more conservatives, and the Italians more clerical. Will the rising belligerents in Europe have consequences on the neutral confederation? The answer is yes. We, we know that. We played a lot of um, Kaiserreich. We feel enough to know that things are not going to go well for little Switzerland here. So, we are, what are we missing? Pathical bombers? That's, I mean, I, I'll put them in a list. But I don't think we're going to see too much of them. Do you guys have any support? No, you do not. You have a little bit, though. Purdue divisions, reinforcement to thousand, six, eight. So that's not too bad, but we're, we're just like literally not producing any of these. But probably still want to put you down to two. I see, you know what? Train these guys up. Get rid of this. Your artillery guys are probably going to be slightly better for us. We'll also get our invasions ready to go. You guys are going to push in this direction. I guess you're part of the Italian Republic. So I'm not worried about this guy. He's actually probably fine. Um, the rest, however... Yes. That should be okay, I think. I guess we actually don't need two people here for right now. This should still be completely covered. George Orwell visits England uh, in response to an invitation of Birmingham to create a new socialism. Local syndicalist agitator George Orwell, leader of the Radical Union National Party, has left the country in order to pursue the tenets of a new totalist ideology. A longtime fan of Mussolini's national syndicalist movement in Italy, Altmaier's political leanings have become increasingly more radical and his supporters more numerous. His advocacy uh, for even the most extreme form of syndicalism can only bring further and rest to the nation. I mean, how many totalists are even in the country? Just those 2% that we got by that event, so... I'm not too worried about them, to be completely honest with you. Yeah, totalist charger, not a big deal. So what do you actually have for us? The government's failed, unlocks the new order decisions. One language. You also get some uh, nice border defenses here. Of course, I think as soon as Germany goes to war with France, we'll probably also just, we'll probably like manually justify on France. Assuming we don't get anything from the greater Switzerland decision. Which probably gives us territory in like Savoy. Like it kind of looks like it spreads down to like here. We at least get like these two states. That's my hope, at least. So we're probably going to go down the the nap pop tree, I, I think. Aiding with Germany, I don't think it's really that important, or like it's not the be best option. We've allied with Germany, enemies all, all sides. We've not, we're not going to bend to the French. Are we allied with the Austrians? What does enemies on all sides mean? What is the actual decision to go down here? Because again, I've never seen Switzerland do this one. Usually they, um... Okay, so you immediately got hit by Black Monday. Fantastic. Uh, so that is... You know what? Only 50% construction speed's not too bad. Considering how it affects, like, most countries. 
So the 50% construction speed going down is, I think, A-OK. -okay. So we're going to immediately try to fortify this border in 78 days. I mean, if I didn't have these troops here, will abort one of the following must be true? At most, zero divisions in Upper Savoy. But I do definitely have troops there, so... France, I'm not too worried about you, even though I'm pretty sure you could probably easily kill us if you actually wanted to. We get some stability and political power. Uh, when it goes through, that's not too bad. You know, again, it might put us at war, but that's not too, too bad. I think we did, like, lose a factory somehow. Probably from, like, Black Monday happening, which is not great. The KKP and the BGB leave the bourgeois block. Uh, market liberal goes down. Bourgeois block and informal alliance between the popular market liberals and with the BGB and the KKP. KKP is the Catholic Conservatives and the Party of Farmers, Traders, and Independents. Okay, so some good old-fashioned political uh, gridlock. Fantastic. Let's almost seize control of Ecuador. But that's not Ecuador. What happens to Ecuador doesn't affect us at all. So one of the following must be true. Savioid Crisis. Okay, so we got our bonus here. Um, I think everything else here is fine to just kind of ignore fighters. Reverse the economic downturn. But I think we're going to go for issues of the day first. Because this is only a 35 day focus. The occupation of Hawaii Savoy. In 1815, at the Congress of Vienna, Switzerland was given legal rights to maintain neutrality of Hawaii Savoy in exchange for relinquishing all the official claims on the region. During the World Creek, as France was falling to the revolutionaries, the Swiss government found it necessary to send soldiers to protect the region from the chaotic violence at the time. Shortly after, the true French government was uh, exiled to Africa, and Switzerland has maintained her military occupation of the region. Uh, until the time that France returns to maintain a mainland to reclaim it. This, of course, is not that well with the current government in Paris, which has actively attempted to reclaim the province. Well, how about you guys just shut up? And you just go away forever. So I never have to deal with you ever again. That would be lovely. I don't know if we're going to do that, but... Also, I don't really like this blue. We're going we're gonna to go for uh, a nice... Dark blue. There we go. A little bit more striking, I would say. Be ready in 33 days. The game is paused. It's a good reason why this is not advancing. So we got about two weeks to maintain peace in the region, which apparently we're not doing very well because I have soldiers there. So France, what are you going to do about it? So, like, I'm assuming enemies on all sides is what happens if Germany and Austria refuse to help you. But on the other hand, like, I'm not really opposed to allying with Germany. I'll, I'll, I'll try to ally with Germany. If they say yes, we'll do it. If they say no, we'll go for enemies on all sides. And try to get our uh, greater Switzerland here. Switzerland, enjoy the Kaiser Wilhelm Society. Beat back the French, but it's only attacking on core territory. Which assumes that we're losing the war in Switzerland. But my, my goal here is like not lose that war. You're going to go down the war economy. Makes sense. It is basically the best one you could do. You're going to go probably down the, the Nubian Confederation tree. Russia has gone with uh, Bukharin. So we don't know exactly what they're going to do quite yet. We don't know what Canada... Canada's really... They're drafting Bill C7. 
The United States is going to deploy the National Guard. The bill has failed. Not a huge surprise. The France. Why don't we, like, ban the Sydney list? That will definitely not make the French mad at us. If we just ban all their political parties uh, within our country. And also, I do notice that they have, like, a lot of forts across our borders. But if we can quickly take all of these, that would probably be really good for us. Because in the process after that, don't have any fortifications whatsoever. The war over here has ended. Afghanistan has lost. Not a huge surprise there, to be completely honest with you. Oh, you've, already joined, you've already joined the China first faction? Oh, the Republic of China has formed, actually. The AOG has declared war on the Republic of China. Okay, so... But are you going to call in Germany? No, you're a colonial government, so... The Germans might lose a major uh, powerhouse for them. Because the AOG is always, like, really powerful, I would say. Like, they can provide a lot of troops to the war effort. So losing them is actually, like, really bad. Especially if you want to kind of ally. Either with the Germans directly or, you know, declare war on France at the same time as Germany and, you know, kind of do it that way. So you have 29 to 43 divisions. You have 9 to 23 you have 13 to 18, so it's about not even, I would say, but assuming he actually sends in all the troops down to reinforce, which hopefully he does. And maybe like Ching or something like that is also going to join in the faction at some point. They have 185 political power. I think we're just going to go straight to early mobilization. And I'm hopefully the China update gets available soon. Because I would definitely want to... Someone's been elected to UC, which is the Radical Socialist. Okay, that's fine. But, um... Yeah, because I haven't played really in Asia at all, I think. I did one short campaign as Mongolia like two years ago, but... That, I didn't, I didn't actually ever finish it. So hopefully once that China update comes out, we'll probably play two or three campaigns just in this region alone, I would, I would think. So we're going to ban you in 10 more days. Or we're going to, you know, try to influence the banning of the party. Because it's a referendum. You know, we don't really 100% control it, unfortunately. I mean, decryption is always good. Can I get a decryption and a research speed guy? Unfortunately not. Good times I am. I guess we'll get the encryption guy as well. That's fine. We're going to try to ban their uh, organizations. We'll get some concentrated industry. As far as one of the following... Okay, so the arrest actually hasn't happened yet. So we can't really do this right away. It's only seven days as well. That's free. Reorganizing the army. Combat economic crisis. The National Protection Act. Well, what do we... What, what, what do you do? Your bonus towards industry. Two military factories would be nice. Ooh, five military factories? Some steel. But this industry gives us seven military factories. In our tiny-ass country, I think that might be worth it. It's going to take us a while to get over there, though. We'll try to reverse the economic downturn. Assuming this doesn't immediately erupt into open warfare, but we'll see. So we're going to do some extensive campaigning. Try to make sure we can ban them. I mean, they have what? 10, 11, about 30% support within the country. So if you just ban all of them, I think that's probably going to be fine for us. It looks like they are getting more popular. No, they're all getting very they're all getting more popular very quickly. Uh which is probably bad. You're losing four percent a day. 
You're losing 1%. Is everybody taking down? Everybody's taking down except for the, the socialist faction. So you probably do want to curb that as much as possible. But I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. So thank you for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Now enjoy, call you some down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.